Hi everybody, Dan's Gaming here. I want to show you my first impressions of Pow World. First, what is, is this game like and what is it not like? First of all, not really a lot like Pokemon. Now, there is monster collecting, uh, which is probably the thing that's close to Pokemon. You build spears, you throw your balls at the uh, wild yeah. creatures to catch them. First, you have to weaken them. That part is like Pokemon, but after that, uh, there, there's not much after that <laughs> that is similar to Pokemon. Uh, so, like, you smack these guys, you weaken them up, you take out your spears, you throw them, you see the capture rate. They go in the ball. Like that. The lower you get it, the easier they will capture. If they stay in the ball, then you can have them out. So, uh, once you have them, then you can equip them in your party, bring them with you. They can, they will just auto battle themselves. You don't directly control them. Uh, the exception are ones that you can ride. Um, you, some of them are mounts. Um, and if you are, mount one of them, you can control its moves. Like, see, I'm gonna go fly around on this one, fire, move, using it, uh, cast the breath spell. Yeah, I can manually control them when I'm on there. Uh, most of the game will be instead you fighting with guns, with melee weapons. Uh, you'll take, like for right now I have a musket. I'll show you. Musket reloads very slowly, but it's high damage. Uh, so you will be boom, firing. I took him out, he did. <laughs> uh, it's definitely a lot darker in tone than uh, Pokemon. There's like, you can, you capture the pals, you can butcher them, you can make them work hard and aggressively, you can make them not happy, um, or you can take good care of them, whichever you want. Uh, there is base building. Uh, you will want to have a base. Uh, this is my current base. I built this giant barn. The base building is a bit limited. There's not a ton of different shapes for building, so they'll still all kind of look a little samey. Um, they are pretty rigid. Uh, the building system, you unlock this through technology. Uh, all the foundations here are your building pieces. As you see, there's not that many of them. All you can do is rotate them. So, like, if you want to make a wood building, you have, what, maybe 10 items to, to play around with. So, the shapes of buildings will be um, rather limited. And your pals have a really hard time navigating custom-built walls and buildings and stuff. Uh, so, keep that in mind. Um, the base is also used for your pals to rest on their beds, rest in the hot tub to regenerate their mood. Uh, you can ranch them to get materials. Um, you can have them grow food so they can eat and stay happy. Um, the base building is there. Uh, you can also breed uh, pals in your barn. You can incubate eggs and hatch them. Uh, so, and it, when you... You have a, a team of pals that will be in your inventory that you take out in the world to explore and battle with you. And then the other ones will be here working. I see these guys are mining new resources, which I can then um, issue. I can then build like more spears, aka Pokeball equivalents. This guy's working on it. So that way, if you're playing solo, um, it's nice to have the pals here so they can do jobs for you, which helps you as a solo player. Uh, gather things quicker and do more jobs so it's a really friendly solo game uh, you, you go out in the world you get resources you bring them back you process them you get upgrades um, as you level up uh, you will get access to new technology points which you then spend on this massive tree of upgrades uh, for you and your pals like you can make um, saddles for certain um, pals to ride them like mounts um, as I showed you earlier, um, new technology to, like get buffs and heals for your uh, your pals, bullets, guns, uh, lots of fun little things you can do with your pals. Like uh, this is a riding mount. Uh, one of his abilities is while you're riding him, you can charge him into ore, and he will break it and then mine it for you, which is kind of awesome. Uh, the map is quite large. It is built of islands it's quite massive i'll just take you a little bit around so you can see like what how big the world's looking right now in early access so again this game is not finished it is early access so let's travel uh we'll travel over here and we'll take a look see at what we find out in the wild 
So now we're out in the wild. You'll see lots of wild pals everywhere that you can capture, you can battle them, you can harvest them with resources. Um, I'll get on the flying mountain. We'll go up. Yes, these guys can fly. Some of them can fly, of course, if they have wings. Not every flying Pokemon, not every, sorry, pal, not every flying pal is uh, gonna be one you can ride like this, but uh, a lot of them you can. The world is very pretty. The graphics are very nice. There's lots of exploring. Out in the world, you can find dungeons, which you can battle boss pals uh, to capture them or just get their resources, which you'll need for upgrades. Um, there's also world bosses, which are the same thing. They drop nice resources. Um, you can see them on the map here. They do respawn constantly, so you can farm them if you want to capture them. Boss uh, pals are stronger. They have higher stats. Also, they're usually double or triple the size of a regular pal. So it's something you'd want to farm. Um, you can feed, <laughs> in this game you want to capture dozens and dozens of pals because you will feed them to your main pals to buff up their stats. You get stats also by feeding souls to them. <laughs> There's a lot of ways to farm pals and make them stronger. Uh, there isn't much of a main storyline right now. There is a little bit. There's little journals and stuff. There's not too much yet that's not quite done in early access. Um, but will be coming in the future. Uh, there is lots of variation in the world. If you want to, as you're exploring, see different places. But mostly the world is just filled with random pals and stuff to gather, like um, upgrades to your character, um, little resources. Uh, there's some nice looking places and stuff. There's some, you know, as I said, pal boss fights where you go in and you battle them and you can capture them or just kill them if you want. Um, good variety of stuff to do. It's pretty beefy early access. It's been having uh, not very many bugs. It's been relatively smooth uh, for me, performance-wise and bug-wise. Um, it the game is been pretty fun. If you're if, again, the game plays more like uh, more like Ark mixed with Elden Ring, mixed with Breath of the Wild. A nice oh, there's some human enemies there. There are human enemies, and I can just fireball them. Um, the nice mix of stuff. There's levels all over the place for, uh, like we're in a low level zone. You can find loot everywhere. Um, again, the game's kind of like Ark, mostly survival. Um, the survival mechanics are pretty easy. For example, um, here's my character's inventory. Um, there's my, oh, you, get, you can quit four tools at once. You get these bags that will auto feed you and your pals. So you don't have to worry about management of food. Just have to stock them. You get a glider, you get a shield, you get armor, two pieces of armor. Um, and then every time you level up, you do get to spend stats on your, like, do you want to carry more? Do you want to have more health, stamina? Overall, it's a pretty fun game. It If you like Pokemon, you'll enjoy this game. But even if you don't like Pokemon at all, the monster part of the game is just part of the game. Um, and it's not really like a turn-based battle or anything like that. It's just... Uh, interesting way to combine survival with monster catching and overall I think it's a really fun game I've been having a blast with it um, it's funny to walk around and find a shiny once in a while shinies are like bosses they're twice as big they have nice passives and stuff um, each of the pals have useful abilities as I showed you earlier some you can ride some of them you can pick up and use as flamethrowers um, so this one right here uh, he can, you can target yeah. a a pal and then he will go mess him mm. up with fire or see he's just doing his super move hit him for 1100 not bad overall very fun game power world's exploding it's got millions of players for a reason it's just fun go ahead and check it out i recommend it